Today I'm going to be going through my makeup collection with you and decluttering. I am a minimalist with my makeup. I have one little container that I like to use for all my makeup and keep it organized and what I'm not using or the colors that aren't working anymore I like to get rid of. Unlike my skincare which I seem to collect and have a much bigger space for, I like to keep all my makeup in this one little container. First up, I'm going to go through my primers. I have two primers. One is a setting spray primer, a two-in-one setting spray, and it's the only one I have by Dermablend. So I'm going to be keeping that. The second primer I use is the Laura Mercier primer. Now, I don't use a makeup primer every day, but if I really need it to last throughout the day, I will dip into a primer. But those have lasted quite a while because I don't use it for like an everyday makeup look. Now I'm going to go through my foundations. One of my absolute favorites is the Tinted Hydrator by Wet n Wild. This is a great drugstore choice and I use it on an everyday basis. I think it's absolute fabulous for a light coverage and I'll be keeping that. I decided to splurge on the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and actually this isn't one that I really like very much. I find that it's got too much coverage. It's more of a full coverage and it also, I picked up 4P which this tone is a little bit light for me. And so I think it's gonna be really well suited for my mom as far as coloring. I'll have to remind her to put a really good moisturizer underneath because we both tend to be on the dry side. And this is a very drying foundation, very mattifying I find. Um, and it's not luminous, I don't find, it says luminous silk, but I don't really find this very luminous. So I'm definitely not gonna be repurchasing this and also gonna see if my mom likes it. Another foundation that I found recently is the Best Skin, Sephora's Best Skin Ever. This is a great medium coverage foundation. I'm going to be keeping it. I like it. This is probably just the right skin for me, skin tone for me. It's 11.5P. I'll do a little swatch for you. It's just perfect. Not too yellow, not too light. It blends in really well. Perfect for my skin tone and a good medium coverage foundation. So I'll be keeping that. A CC cream that I really like and will also be keeping and repurchasing is the one by Aborian. I use the color Claire and this is a color changing sort of combination SPF 25. And I always, oops, oh my goodness. <laughs> SPF 25, we have a mess to clean up after. SPF 25, but I always put another dedicated sunscreen underneath this. And this gives a medium coverage, but it shears out when you have a really nice SPF underneath. I typically use the Dermalogica Broad Spectrum SPF, the untinted combination sunscreen. I really like that under the Aborian CC cream. It looks beautiful. Next up is a new purchase for me. This is the NARS, their new foundation. It's their light reflecting foundation. I really love this. You can, this is definitely buildable coverage. This one's a little bit light for me for summertime, but it's so pretty. Also works beautifully on top of sunscreen. The NARS Light Reflecting will definitely be a repurchase for me. And the color that I have in this is Mont Blanc. So this is a beautiful foundation if you're looking for one. I think it's been reviewed almost on every beauty channel that I've seen. And there's only a couple people that don't really, really like this foundation. So if you're looking for just a great no fail foundation. I think this is one that would be a sure bet for you. And like I said, it works beautifully over sunscreen. Another foundation that I absolutely love is by Hints. They don't have many shades in this or skin tones in this, but this works beautifully on my complexion and it's got a little bit of a warm yellow tone. So, and it's light to medium coverage. And if I sheer this out, it is just the perfect tone for my skin. It doesn't look as great on my hands because I have a little bit of color from the summer, but it is so pretty and it stays dewy and fresh throughout the day. I like it so much. I will definitely be repurchasing this. You should know if you decide to purchase this that it does have a little bit of fragrance. So if you're not into fragrance, then definitely this would be a skip for you. All the other foundations that I've talked about have no fragrance, but this one has a light fragrance. I find that it fades throughout the day, so it's not too, too bad. As far as a lingering fragrance, it definitely fades in a couple hours, and it's a very light scent. All right, another foundation, I think this is also discontinued by The Ordinary, is their Hylamide Photo, is it the Photo Finishing? 
Photography Foundation. This is really a terrible foundation. It looks awful on me. Oops, it comes out quite watery. Let me get rid of some of that. I'm going to kind of see how yellow that is. It really just, it is very, very, very yellowing on my skin and not at all flattering. That is going to be a complete declutter. All right, next up is something I've repurchased. This is the Flawless Filter Highlighter. I actually haven't opened this one yet. This one is in 3 Fair. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Filter. It's the famous Hollywood Flawless Filter. It just gives a little bit of a highlight. Like I said, I haven't opened that yet, so I'm gonna be keeping that. Another highlighter I absolutely love is by Westman Atelier. I can't remember the name of this. I will put it up, but I love this highlighter. It just, it's no sparkle, just beautiful luminescence. One of my favorite all-time highlighters for a, just a really subtle look. So this is, like I said, the Westman Atelier highlighter. She has this in several shades now. This was the original one, and I definitely will, will be repurchasing. I love that highlighter. A highlighter that has been discontinued that I wore a lot back in the day, and I still have... Oh, maybe I'm out. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess this is going to be go into my empties. This is Girl Meets Pearl by Benefit. I thought I had a little bit left. I really love this product. I think they've, oh, I got a little bit out. I think they've replaced this with another highlighting product, but I really felt the Girl Meets Pearl was just perfect for me, just for kind of just a flash of bronzer highlighter. I really liked this and I'm really sad that they've discontinued it. Another highlighter, this one's by Lush, it's their Young Forever, I've had it forever, and it just is too much of the same vibe as the Hylamide um, Photography Foundation. They're too yellowing and not very flattering, so I'm gonna be decluttering that. All right, next up are a couple shadow palettes that I've tried lately. I love the Tartlet and Bloom, I love the Nudist palette, and I also will be keeping the, Hint, the Hints palette. I love all three palettes. I'm pretty picky about what I pick up as far as eyeshadows because I'm just learning how to apply shadow in sort of flattering ways. And I love this Tarlet and Bloom palette. It's a great palette for your neutrals collection. One of my absolute faves, I'll be keeping that. Now this, I picked this up at Christmas time because there were a lot of reds in this palette and I like it very much. There's a little bit too much sparkle in a couple of the colors, but if you shear them out, they look really nice. The favorite color right now for the summer is the lilac. And this is one of the first palettes I started out with as a beginner palette. It's really economical, you can find it. It's by Well People, it's their nudist palette. And I actually use every color in here. So I'm gonna be keeping that. This is one I'm gonna be decluttering. It's a little bit too mattifying. It's the Ultra, I don't know, I picked it up because I wanted something long lasting. This is CoverGirl Outlast Ultra Matte, but it is really too drying. So I'm gonna be decluttering that. Here's another Pat McGrath product that I picked up. It's just a lipstick, um, sorry, a lip gloss, and it's just too much glitter for me. It's just a bit much. And even over a matte lipstick, or under matte stip, lipstick, it just doesn't look that great. It's just not very flattering. I think it's, you know, for younger people, it just doesn't really suit me, so I'll be decluttering that. Here is a lip liner that I got by Pat McGrath. I am not much of a lip liner person, so this will be going into my declutter pile. It is a really pretty shade, and let me see, the shade is Bloodlust. And it's just a little bit too much for me. I need to look for some more neutral liners that'll be more suited to the lipsticks that I tend to wear. So that's something that I'm gonna be adding to my collection. Here's a lippy that I really have been enjoying. This is by Eye Method. This is their Dusty Rose color, and it's a lip plumper. It's so pretty. It's one of my new favorite lip products. It's great for summer, shears out really nicely. It doesn't really plump all that much, but it's not super sticky, and I really like it. So I'm definitely keeping this. This one on the fence, this is the Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. It's a nice dusty rose color and I do like it, but I'm wondering if it's maybe just a little bit too warm for me. I might keep it, I'm still trying to decide. It's slightly mattifying and a little bit on the warm side. So I'm on the fence with the Charlotte Tilbury. Another lippy that I'm definitely keeping is the Chantecai Frisia from their Giraffe collection. I absolutely love this lipstick. It's a beautiful, beautiful, cool rose tone color. I absolutely love it. Slightly sheer, super moisturizing. This is definitely a keeper. 
Oop, I think we're going to have a crash here. Another lippy that I really enjoy is by Paracone MD. Slightly deeper tone than the Chantecaille Freesia. And this is always a difficult color to find because they do numbers. And this is their 9E1. I like it because it's cool tone and a little bit deeper. It doesn't sheer out as well. It's a little more opaque, but it's definitely on the cooler tone and looks great with gray hair. And a lip duo that I'm definitely keeping that I found at the drugstore that I really like. Again, it's that dusty rose kind of mauve color that I enjoy. This is a long wear lip gloss and it's a two step. You put on the, this is a very opaque color and then you let that dry down for a little bit and then you put on the clear over it throughout the day to keep your lips moisturized. I really like this concept. I know you have to have two products, but they come together, super affordable drugstore find and I really like that, especially for a day where you need something long wear. Another lippy that I just recently found is Euphoria, and this actually isn't a lipstick, it's actually a blusher, but I use it as a lip stain. It comes out clear and then the color changes with your pH and I use it as a lip to cheek. It's an oil and it's super sheer, super pretty, great for summer, long wearing, and like I said, you can use it on your lips and on your cheeks. And it changes with the pH of your skin color. A fun product that I've tried recently is the Wonder Skin Lip Product. Now this is a really bizarre product. It goes on purple and it creates this mask. Also, it's kind of like it changes color for your pH, like the Euphoria. But it's a multi-step process. It's a bit of a pain, but it's also kind of fun. And then you spray on the activator. You let that dry down. And once that dries down, you can peel this up. And it is a bit difficult to peel, but it just peels up and it gives you a little bit of a stain. I just think it's kind of a fun gimmicky product to try, but it's kind of, it's really fun. I like it. It's a little bit... Um, more sheer than the Euphoria lip stain. And I'm definitely keeping it. I like, I've really been enjoying using it. And you can tell it's a little bit different color. They come in different colors. Whereas the Euphoria changes to your pH, I believe you can choose your color for the Wonder Skin. And it changes a little bit in, by individual, but you can kind of get multiple shades. And I'll put up the swatches here in the cutout. All right, let's move on to the last lippy that I've used forever. This is Blake Clinique. It's their surprise. I've loved this color since I was like 15. It's a little bit too warm for me now, but for nostalgia purposes, I'm keeping it. Uh, now that I have gray hair instead of blonde hair, it is a little bit on the warm side, but I'm keeping it, like I said, for nostalgia purposes. It's the one that I used to sneak out of my mother's uh, makeup cupboard <laughs> when I was a kid. All right, another Westman Atelier product. This is the bronzer that I'm wearing today. And this is her Peau de Peche. Clean it up a little bit. And it's a pretty highlighter, bronzer, kind of a multi-purpose product. But I use it as a bronzer. Bron excuse me. I use it as a bronzer. And it shears out really pretty. It's very lightweight. It's not too much color. I don't like a deep colored bronzer. And this is like perfect for my skin tone. This is, like I said, the Peau de Peche. Beautiful bronzer, cream bronzer that I'll be keeping. Let's go through a couple brow products. This is the Gimme Brow. I'm really disappointed their packaging is completely worn off. This is their Charcoal Gray Eyebrow Gel. Absolutely love it. A holy grail find. And I've just switched over from the brown to the gray now that I have gray hair. Brow Flick is a great product by Glossier. This is if you only need like a single, if you're missing like a sparse area in your brows, you just draw in one little line and it's very fine. It's not working on my skin right now, but in the brow area, you can just draw in one little sparse area and it gives you some great little coverage without having to do a com complete eye gel look. One that I won't be repurchasing is by Maybelline. It's their Fast Sculpt. I, I just didn't find this worked as well as the Gimme Brow. So it's a little bit creamier and it tends to, smud tends to smudge a little bit and not as uh, defining. It also is the wrong color for me. So I'm gonna be putting that in the declutter pile. 
Next up for brows is the Glossier Brow Gel. I like this so much. Now, in comparison to the Gimme Brow, it's a little creamier and gives a little bit less hold. But I really like both of these products for different days. If it's really hot and steamy out, you want to head toward the Gimme Brow. It gives you a little bit more staying power. And the Glossier is just a nice sort of fluffy look for a day to day. Mascaras. All right, my two favorite mascaras in the world. This is the Benefits Their Real Primer and then the Benefits Their Real Brown Mascara. I love both of these products. This is one I would layer up for an evening, more glam lash look. And this is an everyday mascara. Even though I've been tending to move toward a black mascara with my gray hair, I still love this mascara and I can't give it up. I wish they would come out fit in black. My new find for a black mascara is the CoverGirl Professional Remarkable. Kat over at Cat's Eye Beauty recommended this. This is a drugstore mascara. I absolutely love it. It's super creamy. It definitely rivals my Their Real Primer for an everyday makeup look or lashes. The only reason I tend to reach for this one over the Their Real is this one is in black. It's kind of a brownish black. It's a really, really pretty color. It's super creamy, goes on beautifully, never clumps. It's one of my new go-tos. And like I said, one reason I would grab this over my Their Real is this is in black. And I think it's black is a little bit more flattering for me now. So definitely a great new find. Thank you, Kat. This is what I'm going to be decluttering. This is my Garnier Clear and Brightly Concealer. I've used this for a long time and it's just time to declutter. It's pretty much empty. So I do like that product. It's a little bit sparkly. If you've never used it, it has a rollerball but you can sheer it out with a brush and it just is a nice sort of everyday concealer at a great drugstore price. A concealer that I'm also going to be decluttering is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away. I don't like this concealer at all. I don't like the color is a little bit too yellow for me. I don't like the sponge applicator. I find it tricky to use. Um, I just, I just really do not like this. <laughs> Actually, I have to say in comparison, I guess it is a little bit lighter than the Garnier, but it's more matte and doesn't sheer out as well. And again, the applicator is extremely tricky to use. So I will be decluttering that. Two concealers, concealers that I will be keeping are the MAC Painterly. I've talked about this before. This is my go-to for either a foundation, a quick foundation cover-up for spot cover-ups or for a little concealer in the corner or the a lid concealer just to cover up those veins. I also, this is a little bit creamier. This is the Trini London Just a Touch in Lily. Also love this for more over the lid and in this, the inner corner of the eye for a cover up. But you can use it on blemishes, but this suits my skin tone a little bit more. The MAC Paint really suits my skin tone a little bit more for a spot cover up. All right, here's a couple blushers. This is the one by Hints. This is a nice cream blusher. It's super youthful, real pretty for summer. I just love this. I use it a lot as either a highlighter or a blush. One of my faves, definitely a keep. This is the Rockateur that I used for years by Benefit. This actually is just too warm of a blush for me now. It's a powder blush and I'm going to be decluttering that. Last but not least, Hourglass. This is the Diffused Light, absolutely gorgeous powder. I can't give it up. It's something that you can put over a sunscreen that's a little bit too shiny or just to brighten up a makeup look throughout the day, get rid of a little bit of a shine. It is just one of those pressed powders, it's just so finely milled and it's a holy grail. Definitely will continue to repurchase and I love this Hourglass in Diffused Light. So that wraps up today's declutter. We were able to get rid of quite a bit and make some more room in my little makeup caddy for the new Trini London products that I've just ordered. I'll be sharing those with you in an upcoming video. I appreciate the time that you spend with me. All the products that we discussed today will be listed down below, of course, and the makeup that I'm wearing today. Take care and have a skintastic day.